I could just explain, the one here that's red and black, that's actually been sent by Jenny Thornby to all branch and CLP secretaries. And I know some branches circulated that at their AGMs. There were two lots of rule changes that went through party conference. All of them from the NEC have been adopted and some from the CRPs were also adopted. They've come in two stages. Technically, everything that went through party conference was adopted with immediate effect. It went into the rule book the moment conference closed, on I think it was the 28th of September. But the way they were written, the way they were passed, has confused some people because some of them, the NEC actually needs to write further rules and put those into the rule book, and the NEC hasn't done that yet. So there'd be some things that you might have heard about, that you might have heard, oh, that was in the democracy review, it's been passed, but it can't happen yet. What Adam, Ross and I have tried to do is differentiate between the two and take our constituency AGM, the constitution, the constitutional changes we're suggesting, which we've discussed at the EC already, we put it to the EC, the EC has agreed these papers that have come to you. We're suggesting this is as far as we can take it without seeing that further guidance from the NEC. It actually takes it slightly beyond this red and black paper from Jenny Formby. Partly that's because in some areas, our CMP is already beyond where conference went, because, for example, Conference said every CRP should have a BAME officer, but we already have a BAME officer. So that's something, you know, we don't have to do it, it's already there. Um, conference said every CRP should have a disability officer. We already have a chair of the disabled members forum, so that's a small change for us to make. But it's clearly one that we can quite easily make, so we're saying let's do that straight away at our AGM. There's things like that. But there's also things like, for example, you might have heard there are going to be equalities branches. Now that might seem that Quite obviously, we'll be able to turn our forums into branches. However, when you look into the rule, when you read what's actually gone through, it's, although we can express that intention, and we can adopt at our AGM a clause into our constitution which will basically mirror what went through conference. So through conference, there's a clause which says, conference agrees this and gives the NEC the power to write the rule, put it in the rule book, but it will come back to the next conference and there'll be a conference vote on it. So if conference doesn't like it, it will throw it out next year. So there's that, we've given the NEC the executive power, but conference will inspect it, so they're not going to let the NEC get away with something that's bad. So what we're suggesting is this CRP does something similar. It passes the principle, it gives our executive the power to bring that into action during the year after next month's AGM to the next AGM, or if we wanted to, uh, we could have a special general meeting, but that is a lot of hassle. It's easier just to pass this power, and then at the next meeting, this GC in the future can inspect that, decide if it likes what the EC's done and accept it, or give the EC a clip around the ear and throw it out. Does, that, does everyone follow that? You're all looking up, seeing some bemused faces. What I say is, because there's bemused faces, I think now's the time we should spend five minutes or so looking at these papers. <coughs> the branches paper was, was sent to branches ahead of your AGMs, and hopefully that was discussed at your branch AGMs. I'd say look at the constituency paper, which is the longer paper, read that, and then maybe come back with questions. Okay, so there's a lot of questions.